Hello again, Andy with HandyAndyHome.com. Handy Andy Handyman. You can catch us at 770-912-2829. And we're out looking at a home in Kennesaw today. Uh, and this was an agent referral. She's got this house listed for sale and it's got a bunch of rotted wood around and some paint stuff to be done to get it sold. You know, if you're listing a house for sale in this market in Metro Atlanta and it doesn't sell in the first two weeks, uh, you've got something wrong with the house. It's either overpriced or you get a bunch of little deferred maintenance items like this house has. This is a great house, one of the best school districts. This home should sell very, very quickly. There's a few things we'll leave for an inspection report like cutting back these trees. But if you've got rotted wood on your house, it's a kiss of death in these deals. Most mortgages right now, once it hits the appraisal process, the home inspector, they see rotted wood, your deal's dead or you're gonna have to get it fixed before you close on it anyway. Uh, so on the left side of this house right here, we've got two garage doors that are just starting to rot. If we just scrape and caulk and paint these real fast, perfect, that's all I have to do with it. On the second story, bath, I'm assuming this is a master bath window right here. You see that piece of wood right across the bottom edge of that window, how it's bulged out? That's called a win window mowing, and we do so many of those repairs that we keep tons of that stuff uh, pre-cut at the workshop. Uh, so we don't have to replace the whole window, all we have to do is pull that little strip called a mullion, and we'll replace it with a new piece that's primed and painted to match the rest of the window. On the front of her house, we'll get to it in a second, she really should go ahead and repaint all those windows. Back of the house, we just need to pressure wash it, clean it down. It's really pretty yucky dirty. Uh, it's vinyl sided back here. Most of the windows are in pretty good shape back here uh, until we get to the second story window right here. The nose has rotted out. And all that stuff with the builders about 15, 20 years ago, they started using finger jointed wood. Just really meant for interiors only, but we landed a lot of the big builders, they were so big that they were recycling all their scrap wood to get efficient and started making their own trim. And so it's all finger joint. And you can see all these lines and the individual pieces. So that's a five foot piece of, of nose and it's probably got about eight or nine pieces of jointed wood in there. If you don't keep it caulked and painted properly, it'll bulge and rot just like that one did right there. <coughs> we would suggest you go ahead and pressure wash and, and restain this deck back here. Um, every family wants one. They see a deck like this and they think it's a maintenance nightmare. It, it just looks bad. It doesn't take long to do it. It's a real quick fix up on your house. Um, this back door right here, we've got rotted wood at the, the right molding here and the, the left frame end molding right there. You can see how badly rotted it is. And we see that repair all the time. We're one of the few companies that'll come in and repair it properly. And I'll show you the difference. A lot of times painters will come here and slap Bondo in there. Bondo, you don't want Bondo on rotted wood because it's like um, the problem with with rotted wood is it called by caused by wood fungi and microorganisms that are anaerobic meaning they don't need oxygen so once you seal that up with bondo you just gave them a hotel six and they'll continue to eat that rot part of it is and we're not going to do it but part of it is they should have caulked this vinyl trim up against the window up against the door and windows and flashed them properly this flashing should have been extended over into the trim here to keep the water from getting in behind it and rotting it out so that's what's been happening the important thing with us is that we make angle cuts. So, and here's a perfect example of why we make an angle cut. Probably the last time this lady bought her house. See this piece right here, this lower piece? That piece, if you look at it, it's got a perfect horizontal cut right here where my finger is. And so all it did was trap the moisture. So now it's re-rotted the new piece right here. And you see the wrinkling in the wood? It's rotted it up into the new wood. If they'd made an angle cut like my finger here, like that, in the angle, it never would have rotted out again. And if they back primed it, it definitely wouldn't rot it out again. So that's a carpenter that came in and just slapped it together. That's mostly what we see out here. Or we see Bondo like what's over here at this door frame. Uh, but we make angle cuts. We back prime all the replacement materials. Guaranteed for five years. We've never had callback yet on any kind of rotted wood. <clears throat> She's got the same issue right here. This nose right here. Or not nose. The mullion. The nose is still good if it gets some paint on it. The mullion on that left rear double window at the bottom see right there see how it's bulged and broken so these are all things the inspector is going to look for you don't want to fix everything on your house like cutting back these Leland's let that come in on an inspection report and then that's a quick fix we get some customers that want to fix everything because they're so conscientious they don't want to sell someone a bad house it's not about selling them a bad house it's about bargaining right the reality is if you go through a house even like this one you fix everything the inspectors are going to find something else it's just the way that it is so we leave them, leave them little gimme things like GFI outlets. We never advise leaving them rotted wood. Rotted wood always lets them kind of poke around a little bit more. Most of these windows up here on the front, she's got a couple like uh, the second garage window right here has a mullion that's rotted. 
a lot of the paint like in this window right here is peeled they just look bad um, they, they haven't rotted out same with these two windows right here to the left of the front porch see the mullions right here and right here and then she's got one up here in the second story see the mullion right here is bulged out uh, this one is, is a little more serious repair this arch window right here you can't see it too well but the rot has actually got into the lower end of the sash and will replace the mullion here see the, the corner right here it's hard to see it with the camera right in this area right here is rotted and that's a difficult repair we make them though the side lights surprisingly are not rotted out they're warped and again it's finger jointed trim so we'll just scrape and caulk and repaint this area as well repaint the front door this is one uh, filling these gaps around the railing it'll come up in an inspection report if you have this at home you want to go ahead and, and hit this metal with uh, this uh, property uh, paint called pour 15 and it is a um, car enthusiast a restorative paint so it'll actually turn rust into metal again and then you can seal this up paint the whole railing with rust oleum and seal this up she could have us do this i wouldn't do it i leave that for the inspection but as long as these windows and doors are all looking good so she's got about 12 windows uh, in the front of this house that need to be repainted and then if we drop down here to the right side of the house uh, you'll see one more repair but we do this stuff all day every day we got a whole bunch of guys running around atlanta doing this stuff my brother's a master carpenter. I've been in the business for four generations. It is what it is. But we love this stuff. We live for it. Uh, down here, the center on this basement door, and then the left frame and molding right here are both rotted out, so we'll be able to make those repairs. Once she does that, she's in pretty good shape. Uh, she had mentioned she thought she had some soffits that needed to be replaced. These are aluminum soffits and fascias, so they don't need to be replaced. They could stand to be cleaned. I wouldn't really bother about it. It's a great house. It's up on a hill. She's got a really good agent working for her. Uh, so we know that name But that's what we do. So anything pretty much home repair and improvement. We do it. I'm Andy. I started this company almost 25 years ago We're running Metro Atlanta. We're a plus rated I think we've had 12 complaints in the last 25 years and we're just like you you can't make everybody happy Some people are just jerks and you don't ever really want to work for them again um, And that's the name of the game, but we pretty much do anything just be patient with us. You can catch us at 770-912-2829 but we'll be happy to knock this out for this customer and she can call this house sold. Take care. See you at the next house. Bye for now.